I was young at the time. I said, oh, I could, I could calm it down with a ring. At least you'll know. Oh, I've heard women get mad that their rings were too small, and really? I find that yeah, so they're... hurtful. All right, it's Monday at 11 o'clock. So welcome to the Chaz Palmentary Show podcast. We got a great show today because we got the girls back, and I get all these messages. Oh, I want to marry Tara. I want to ask Catherine out. And Nobody wants to marry me and ask her out? <laughs> no, I, I, no they, I don't know what it is. They want to marry you? Well, first of all, first of all, uh, you maybe come off a little differently. Maybe they want to have a fling with you. I don't know. Maybe Did that's possible. Why come off what? sexy? Yes, and and she comes off like what? She's Girl one guy. Door? No, she comes off. I want one guy, and that's it. But she's married already, folks. They might think they have a shot with you, Catherine. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Well, they well, want you, give you a shot. shot. All right. Wait. <laughs> so we got the neighborhood girls coming on today, obviously. But before I do that, I have to tell you, don't forget my one man show, the original one man show. Uh, that started it all before the movie, uh, before everything was voted best show of the year in Las Vegas, and there was a hit on Broadway. Okay, September 16th at the Melville, New Jersey, we're going to be at the Lavoy Theater. I'm going to be at the Lavoy Theater. September 22nd, I'm at Akron, Ohio, at the E.J. Thomas Hall, and September 23rd, I'm going to be in Cincinnati, Ohio, at the Taft Theater doing the original one-man show. Please get your tickets early because uh, the shows sell out really quick. So today, and go to chaspalmentary.net. Chaspalmentary.net. We're coming to a city near you. All right, so this is Neighborhood Logic. We got the girls today. So listen, this is a question I got from a friend. I didn't get this online. I got this from a friend. A young guy, he's like 26 years old, nice kid. He said to me, Chaz, I need some help. I go, what is it? He goes, I was going to send you an email, but since we're friends, I'm going to tell you in person. So I said, well, well what? He said, I'm, I'm 26. I'm dating my girlfriend six years. Mm. I said, oh, okay. He goes, she really wants to get married. I love her. I don't want to lose her, but I just don't want to get married now. Financially, I'm not ready yet. He goes, so I was thinking, I'll get her a ring an engagement ring, and I'll hold her off. Aww. Now, I said to myself, my man, my man, my man. Guys say that my all the man. time. I said, they, you guys think you can get a girl a ring and you could hold her off for two years. Catherine, Tara, you're both ladies. You, what happens when a guy gives you the ring? Well, doesn't Beyonce have a song for the ring on? I know, but what happens when a guy gives you the ring? <laughs> oh, then he goes, and then you go into third gear, out the gate, you're booking halls, you're buying <laughs> wedding dresses, you're picking out bridesmaid dresses. That's it. You're going ballistic, and as soon as he says, get you the ring, your head explodes off your shoulders, and you think you own the guy. So it's worse. Worse. Wor so I, I try to tell him that. I go, listen to me. Tara, do you agree? I do know some cases where girls, they say, you shut her up with the ring. Really? Yes. All where right. girls get engaged and they go, okay, at least now I know it's going somewhere. Like, even if they can't plan it yet, at least they have the promise of knowing that down the road we're going to get married. Wow. I like to get some... Uh, you Young know, blood? No, I like to get okay. some questions about some answers, how the, how the audience feels. Go to Charles Palmetary Show uh, and send me an email. Send us an email. Well, what do you think? You didn't really yeah. give your opinion. I didn't give my opinion. Well, in the beginning, I really thought that I, I was more on her case where, wow, you know, I was young at the time. I said, oh, I could, I could calm it down with a ring. At least mm -hmm. you'll know. But when I got older, then I started to see more and more guys fall to the wayside. <laughs> and, uh, and I remember when I got engaged, but don't forget, I was uh, 38, 39 years old. And, but once I got engaged, boy, man, my wife took it into third gear, just like you said. Wow. We got to go for halls because halls are... Two years booked out oh, in advance. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we got to get it now. Uh, it was but daunting. I didn't mind because I wanted to get married. Right. I, you know, yeah. I, I was, but I, I don't know. I, I just think it, that's funny you said that, Tara. That's a good, 
different opinion, but uh, we like to hear from the ladies out there, the Could men. Could I just say something, though? Yeah. I think getting engagements are so old-fashioned and outdated. Why do you need two rings? You need an engagement ring, and then you need a, a wedding band. To me, just go get married. Uh, Guys, you're getting a discount if you want to marry uh, Catherine Narducci. No you discount. heard it here first. Why do you got to do two big She's parties? She's a one-ring woman. Shower. All these parties give me agita. All right, well, let's listen. I'm not saying I'm not throwing you a shower now. <laughs> Don't, because I'm going to elope and save all the money. Do you we get to come up? on the vacation? If I do a destination thing, okay. and you want to, I won't put anybody on a spot. Okay. Wow. Destination weddings are kind of... Uh, yeah, what little... do you think of those destination weddings? Those are... Do you, what do you think of no. that? No, no. It's asking what is people destination to spend a lot wedding? of money. It's asking me to fly in, get a hotel, and give you our boost. It's bad enough you I got to go to the wedding. You don't got to give our boost if you do all that, do you? If I'm not the best man in the bridal party, now I got to fly, get on a plane, and go to St. Martin's or St. Bart's? Yes. You know what? I'm sorry. You're that rich. Could you... Fucking hey, get married here. No, or fly me in, bitch. Right. <laughs> or fly us in. <laughs> well, I know who I'm not inviting to the renewal of my wedding vows in Sicily. Oh, now you're renewing yeah. vows? That's a, another a thing. thing. Diva, so now we're doing things. engagement parties, weddings. We're going to renew the vows. <gasps> Hold on a minute. Let me just go straight to the poorhouse. This is costing <laughs> me a lot of money for you, a little Listen, extravaganzas. Uh, uh, me, you're doing pretty well, Catherine yeah, Narducci. Really. Let's no. not take up any collections for you. <laughs> Okay, what, what, about, what about going the other way, though? Because there's people who do want to get engaged and they do want to propose to um, get their girlfriends or husbands off their back or boyfriends off their backs or whatever. But there's also people that give out promise rings saying, I promise to give you an engagement ring. The promise ring, I can't That's stand. A third what ring? is a the promise, promise ring? ring? That's a third ring? So. Wait that a minute. Is, oh, my no. son just walked in. Dante. No. Dante, get over there. Pick up that microphone. We talked about, the, my son's 26 years old. Wait, let's not get into your love life. You're 26 Thank, years good, old. Yeah. What do you think about this guy's giving a promise ring? What do you think about that? I mean, it's, I think it's, uh, it's sweet, but just get, get married. Yeah. So you like, like engagements? No, but if you're if a promise ring is just I'm gonna give you an engagement ring. That's so, that's so ridiculous. So and just three get, rings. So just get an engagement ring. Are you serious? I never even heard I've, of that. Yeah, this is the thing. This there is the something. thing. Oh my god, I'm ancient. I'm you ever heard of the promise? I don't know. The promise ring was always. I'm sorry, it's always dumb to me. Unless gonna, you're 13 years old. I mean, like, I don't know. I, like it, it, I think I, that's what it. It I, mostly I, is just like for kids. It's not a kiddie thing, though. I think that people really. It talk started about off uh, hearing about it when I was a kid. Like in high school, a promise, a ring? promise ring, like a promise to be with you for blah blah, blah whatever. Well, but then now I I think it's like, uh, you know, guys in their twenties, like here's your promise ring. Like no, bitch, here's the fucking. Ring. No, I don't promise. Come on, it's too much. Like you're one foot in, one foot out. Either do it or don't. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, I think people are just trying to make your relationship have more old. meaning. I think it's like jewelry doesn't make your relationship have more it doesn't. meaning. And especially when the divorce rate in the country is just soaring. It's yeah. like we're filling it up with other rings and ceremonies. It would probably it be do anything. higher the divorce rate if people these days could afford to get divorced. And what about uh, what people yeah, get? I got oh. another question while we're on the kick of yeah, marriage. Good question. I got a good question about this. What about when people get married and then I gotta know? How I got to find out, because you let it leak, how much each seat is so that I give you our boost to cover your food Who and I give you that? our boost to get put in your bank account. Why do I got to know? Know how yeah. I feel. If I'm inviting you, you and you to my wedding, nobody's going to know what I paid. And guess what? If you wanted to give our boost, you give it. If you don't, you don't. But I don't want to put that on you so you have all this pressure to go, we got to know the dinners were fine. You got to cover well, you this. Gotta look and we got to put well, it on look, top of that. Minimum. So they're trying to just guilt you into paying for their wedding? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, when you, you go to a wedding. you can't afford your wedding, bitch, do not get married. Get yeah. married at the church and just fucking that's the end get of it. Get married at the public pool we, or in Central <laughs> Park on the grass. Go to the Y. Blow up get some married. balloons. Wait a minute. Go to the Y. Hold it. I'm going to ask a question on the camera here right now. Now, when you got married to Michael, yes. I'm not asking you how much a plate was, but did you expect... No, no. No, you didn't expect Because I was going, I you guys, I, I spiraled. You spiraled. I spiraled. But and did you, did I did you not write, expect anybody to Did you write in that. the book how much each person gave? No. 
You didn't. But my no, actually, I think Mike has a document. I think when we went through it, maybe he did. Yes, the man always does yes. that. Yes. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, that's an old Italian thing. Like, you got to know how Go much back. you're going to this person's wedding, how much the they give you for their wedding. So it's a tit for tat. Oh, is that's, that's a big Italian thing. 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 for bread and some wine. Wait, I have the best story ever. So my, my, my aunt, my grandmother, my great-grandmother and her sisters, they were four of them. They were four tough Italian sisters, but three were closer than they were with one of them. Like, one was kind of really? the outsider. And it was the, at that that sister's daughter's wedding that the other three sisters walked into the bathroom to discuss the wedding and how much they were doing in the aboost and and they said well this wasn't good that wasn't good we're taking money out and out of the bathroom stall <gasps> walked the, the fourth sister, sister. Oh. i always said i gotta write a book you never know who's in the bathroom right. stall wow. tales of my italian american family <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's terrible. That's the wow. thing. People that's do terrible. that. They 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 give gifts off of how much. I think the whole thing is is a big farce. And to me, I'd rather have a football wedding in the park and bring nothing. Let's all celebrate my love. My God, you are amazing. God, you don't gotta pay for, money. You only gotta pay for one ring and no big wedding if you want to marry Catherine Narducci. Catherine I don't Narducci. want anybody's here. money. Catherine, I, I, I actually well, am on course. the same page. Yeah, just coming out. Fun at my wedding and it didn't cost okay. you anything. You know how, how I was talking to a couple of my friends who are get who are engaged, and he was telling me just this weekend how much it costs just to have flowers. Oh, how much? Insane. What? It, it, he he told five thousand more, no, way more. more. He, he what? Was, he was like a lot of these florists just have flowers. You're looking at. Ten easy. Ten easy. Ten thousand. That's the floor. floor. That's the floor. Ten easy. Yeah. Ten easy. I'm like for flowers. Listen, he, coming from somebody who just did yeah. it. Yeah. Is it crazy? I. This is a scam. What happened was I scam. did it in. I planned my wedding in 2019. Then the pandemic hit and it stopped. And in retrospect, I was too, too far into it to cancel it. Right. But I would have never gone through with it had I had just gotten engaged after. Did you the, have flowers? Oh, honey, we were at your wedding. Yeah. But I in the oh, pool? wedding was yeah. spectacular. No, no, yeah. I wedding know was that, really but awesome. I don't remember the With flowers. the Bronx Zoo? Yeah. What a the cool Bronx spot Zoo. to get married. It, listen, and yeah. it, and I have it, and the day was there, and it's wonderful, and we go back to the zoo every year, and it's this wonderful little memory, but in hindsight... No, it was cool. Listen, to each his own... No. no. See, listen, to each his own, you want that special day. I get it. But there are so many cooler ways nowadays to make it really special without going. Don't you broke. feel that people do put it in, do have it in expensive places because they know that people are going to give them money and help them pay for it? I think that's totally wrong. Uh, Let me ask you if you were getting married and you picked the most expensive place, are you and your husband have that money in the bank to cover the whole entire wedding? Mm -hmm. We were Fine. older. Yeah. No, that you're not counting on us. Oh, right. oh, oh. no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm not into it. Here, I got. I got a question for you. I love weddings. I right. loved your Good. wedding. I know. That what day you, was my favorite wedding. What right. do you think about the? Um, so the new there's these engagement rings now that are real diamonds. They're they are real diamonds, but they're made in labs. Oh yeah. But how are they real diamonds if they're made in labs? Well, they're made with with. Yeah, but they are real diamonds. They're not like plastic or anything. But they're made. Using chemicals and the but process. They, are they cheaper than diamonds? They are they're cheaper. cheaper than a mine diamond. They're not naturally mined, you know, by some. Oh, that's a good question. How do women feel? How would you feel if you got thing. a? Well, I, you have to. Diamond. This is I see. A mine diamond. You have to find out now. <laughs> If you can put it, take a mine diamond and a lab diamond, right? <laughs> and put it together. And put them together. You can't tell the difference. You can tell. Oh. You can not tell. The lab diamond, it. the lab diamond is supposed to be like cleaner. Oh, better. Well, oh, better? I mean, I don't know if that's better. It probably is it's better. It's so clean. It's like this was made in a lab. Uh, Dante, let me ask you a question and Tara, didn't you have a question about somebody asking about the ring? We have could we lead into that question? Well, well, yeah, well, we, I think we should finish this, but No, but that's why. What's the question? The question what? was the girl asked me, uh, uh it was on here. I remember the question. The question was, does the size of my ring, should that matter, of an engagement ring? Segue into what he's saying, is what I'm saying. Well, what's, what's more expensive, yeah. what the lab diamond because yeah, yeah. it's real diamond or the mine no, diamond? No, lab diamonds are cheaper. 
So can somebody get a bigger ring? Yes. The lab diamonds are cheaper. Figure, picture foods like GMOs, like artificial chickens that are like 10 feet tall. That's it. And it's pretty much that. It's artificially grown diamonds. They're the same oh. chemical composition. They're the same exact thing. I mean, you don't have to tell people it's artificial. But first of all, yeah. if the diamond is clear and it looks like a VS1 perfect diamond, I don't know. No, I but mean, it is. It is an actual so diamond. It's, it's diamond. an actual so diamond. So it's a real diamond. What if you were to get this artificial diamond, give it to whoever you're proposing to, and never tell them that it's artificial? No, it's not artificial. Do you artificial. think that's wrong? Whoa, that's a Artificial's not the word. I think People are going to know because you're going to have to have paperwork. Yes. There's right. paperwork that comes with, with each Hawaii diamond. Is my sound on? Great. Well, she might want to know. Maybe one day she gets it appraised and the guy goes, well, I, it's a beautiful diamond, but it is. They would never know. You can't tell. They, uh, uh, so Unless you have paperwork for it. A lot of times it. they can tell. If, like if a professional looks at it. He could tell. He could be like, this is really clean. Was this grown in a lab? Because if this wasn't grown in a lab, if this was a natural diamond, this is $10 million. But he wouldn't be sure. Wow. I mean, I, I not oh, a jeweler. I don't it, know how deep wow. this if goes. It's, if it's that close, then I say get the lab get the diamond. Get the lab diamond. You could buy it. Because let me tell you something, and I want this the women and the men to go Chaz Palmetary Show uh, at gmail dot com. Does it? I think. It, see, here's a man. This is a man's point of view. He gives you a ring, and it's really not about you. It's about him. He wants because the size of your ring tells. That you're, this was, I was worth, the, like, you got a beautiful ring. Like, look at this, look at this hunk of rock. Okay. <laughs> Don't take up any collections yeah. for both of them. Anyway. <laughs> no, if a guy has a, be if a girl has a beautiful ring, that's like a reflection. When I gave my wife my ring, I wanted to buy her a nice size ring. And I said, here, this is, I want to get, I'm, you know, obviously I'm going to marry you. I think more men get affected by it than women. Well, listen to this. Oh, so I've heard women get mad that their rings were too small, and really? I find that yeah, so that's... hurtful. You can give me this size ring if I get if I married you. My diamond could be that small. Yeah, I guys, would still guys, love you. you no, no. Are we hearing this? No party. I would still love One you. Go get my ring, ring out of a crackerjack box. Oh Jesus! I definitely I agree with Chaz. It's it's, it's an ego love. thing. It's an ego thing for men too, where they can show how much money they have, but. Think of this. Okay, Chaz, Wait. if you had $10,000 to spend on a ring, you can get a really big artificial one or you can get a really small But you're saying real artificial. One. I don't nobody wants no, an artificial ring. Artificial. You're not saying I know okay. I don't want an artificial ring. No. So you would rather a lab the, diamond or or a, okay. Or a, well, that's what okay. So that's what I mean. Lab diamond. Would you rather a big lab diamond or a small not real a diamond? Not a cubic and not a fake. No, no a lab diamond. No. A, la a lab you have diamond. $10,000 to spend. You get a big yeah. lab diamond or a small real diamond. This is my biggest thing. It's a good question. Here's my thing with it. Where, where Catherine said people get upset if it's not the size. I want it to be a reflection of who I am. So my biggest thing when I was going, when I knew I was going to get engaged, I knew Mike was looking. I want it to fit my personality. I don't dress up a lot. I don't wear, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I wear no jewelry. I think I have just earrings on. I don't want something with all these diamonds around and all this. I don't, I'll never wear that. It's I, an extension of you. It's an extension of who you are. So the size I never focused on, but like how, how I want, how delicate I wanted it to look, how simple I wanted it to look was the size was up to him. How delicate you are as a wolf I mean, daisy that delicate, you are. With this little voice of mine. The well, delicate little flower that I am. Chaz Palmetary, Chaz Palmetary show at gmail.com. We'd like to hear some, you know, how, how you ladies and the men feel about these diamond things. Do you mind a lab diamond that looks perfect and it, it is a diamond, or would you rather have a real diamond that's smaller? What if you both got tattooed two, okay, tattoo real. rings? People do that. They get tattoos. No, I ain't tattooing nothing. No. <laughs> we, are three, we are actually three people with no tattoos on this podcast. That's true. Wow. So listen, okay, going back to the whole proposal thing. Now this is becoming a bigger and bigger thing where I want to hear your opinions on this. Women are proposing to men now. No, not for me. Whoa, that women are doing that? Yeah. Catherine? I know people that are doing that. I'm not a fan. I mean, do you, but I'm not. Well, Dante, you got to get on the mic when you say. I'd be too Dante, afraid to get rejected. I'm not a fan. If my girlfriend proposed to me, I'd be like, ah, uh, no. hang no. on. Yeah, let me do this. You know for now, in the future, I'm going to do this. I don't know. It's a guy thing. I don't, I don't want to be proposed to. Oh, that's funny. But think of it this way. Are we sheeple? Are you following something that's... 
a man-made rule? Who says that that's the way it goes? Who made that up? Who started that? I like it. What if I, I just what like if it? I just I say, like Dante, I love way. you. Will you marry oh, me? Yeah. Catherine, I would say yes to you. Oh. 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 And here we go. He doesn't have to get a ring. Dante. We're good. I'm cheap. What is this, Mrs. Robinson here? What's going on here? It's up to you, you Mrs. Mrs. Robinson. All we do is bring oh, down to song on this podcast. Oh, wait a second here. Uh, now, me and Dante, no, and Dante, Dante it. we're eloping. So, we're eloping. Sorry, Chloe. Uh, to each his own, but I would Chloe, never Chloe, take it on up. Propose. <laughs> Chloe. Wow, that's uh catch you on the flip all right. side. Don't forget, you know, you gotta do that. Chad's Palmetary Show at gmail.com. You gotta send send us some how you feel about all to these. To each things. his own, to each his own, right? A girl can of course a girl can propose. I love Whatever my you new want. father-in-law. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh Jesus. My daughter-in-law. My in-laws. <laughs> oh God. Uh, how about this? If how you about start we... calling Gianna mom, I'm gonna get out yeah. of this oh, house before God. it gets crazy. Mama! <laughs> What's all those dishes Mama, breaking in is the that kitchen? You? Oh, that's, that's really interesting. How about, about going what? back to the first question, no. this guy that wanted to buy a, a proposal ring just to hold off his girlfriend, what if his girlfriend proposed to him first? Uh, well, just, he, he, you know. Uh, he, she's not gonna. And that is how he she is. She just saved him a couple of thousand dollars. Well, no, wait a minute. She still wants a ring. I want to get married, so get yeah, me a who, ring. Who gets who a ring? No, if you're in, if I'm asking you to marry me, Dante, I'm giving you the ring. If it's an artificial ring, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> If it's, wow, I don't oh, know. Dante, can Catherine buy you a lab diamond? Yeah, I don't know. Now wow. on the other side of that, I haven't thought about that. No, I'm going to uh, buy Dante a black diamond. No. Hey, wow. you know what? Could you and Dante, can we cut this out right now? <laughs> <laughs> my son. I love Dad. Yeah, my son has a girlfriend, Chloe, that they, they've been dating for like eight. Chloe who? Chloe. <laughs> what, has- about, what about this? Um, okay. All right. I I just recently learned about this. Uh, so a boyfriend will take his girlfriend to pick out the ring, and they both know that they're getting engaged oh, before yeah. he proposes. This I've caused a big fight in my apartment I, because I, I was like, like "No, that. isn't it supposed to be totally a surprise?" I think it should be a surprise. It's like knowing what your baby is, I, the boy or a girl. Yeah, I was. I would. Yes, you could still do it. Be surprised. I know people who I when Mike and I knew we were getting engaged. He did want me to go get sized, and he did. He did say, "Go look at what you think looks good on your." I hands. didn't know that this happens. He, but I didn't know when I was getting engaged. In fact, but you knew it was it was going down. I knew it was going down, but not the day. I was. You didn't know the day. Oh my god! No, did I you thought- pick that ring? Yes. No, I mean, I, no. I told him I a, wanted a plain no no diamonds, plain band. But a woman should say things, things like that. A woman, that a woman that's should, not plain. It's a woman should pants. say that. Like, oh, I like pear shape or I like uh, oh, yeah. certain no, things. So go to the knows. jeweler and you know you're getting engaged. No. That's what a lot of my, my some no, people I no. know do. And well, listen, I did that. So with my wife, um, I'm spending that much money on a ring. I want to make sure it's the, it's right, the right one ring. and the one yeah. that you want. So this is what we did. We went to a couple of jewelry stores a few months before I actually proposed. Uh, she found a few that she liked. I picked out the best one for her, for all of our situations, whatever. And then I proposed to her at the most unexpected time. She had no idea it was coming. She didn't even know I bought the ring, but she picked it out. That's nice. Well, that's, that's okay. That happened to me. That's, that's okay. okay. So, then, so then is asking to go to the jewelry store the new proposal? Is that the big surprise? Like, hey, babe, I'm thinking we go well, to the jewelry store. And it's you, like, you, you know, you like to ask her what style of ring does she like. You know, you do okay. it like, as a matter of fact, you're walking by a jewelry store. Say, honey, look at these rings. Say, no, I'm just curious. What's the, what? And she might say, oh, you say, I'm just like to know. What do you like? Okay, you what know? do you do if you're with a girl and you do that and she picks out a ring and it's just like too crazy? It's You're like, I, don't, I can't swing that. She's like, well, I want it. No, oh, then, well, then you got to no. run. Then she's then she no, gets you a lab run. diamond. When a girl says, then you're getting a lab diamond. You're getting a ring pop. No, not even that. <laughs> I, I tell you the truth. If a girl a says, pop. "Well, I'm sorry, Sherry. I want it," that's a sign Elvis has left the building. Okay, you got to get out then. If a girl says, "I don't give a shit. I want a big one, and that's it," my man, too significant. You're, you're married, my lady, the significance on lady, the diamond. My lady, Listen. my man, you married the wrong girl. And yeah. that's it. Listen, the ring was beautiful. When when Mike, I, oh my God, I loved it. It was exciting. I still wear it all the time. I love it. It's not what keeps my marriage together. 
No. It's not what pays the bills. It's not what, you know, like it's, yes, I understand the significance of the moment and the, and the piece and, and the significance of the, of the piece of jewelry that it is, but let's get our heads on straight here, people. Okay. Maybe I don't, I don't want to, uh, let me just ask you, how did, when you got pum, 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 proposed, proposed pff, how did he, uh, when, when did he do it? Can you share that? I with can us? share the story. It's great. Uh, so I um I had a show at the Friars Club. Right. They had asked me to do a private event for them. Me and a few other comics. A, a email went out. I got to the club. Um, I walked upstairs. They said, "All right, Terry, you're on. You're in the Milton Berle room." I went in the. They said it's packed. I opened the door and it was completely empty. And Mike was down on one knee by the fireplace. Oh my god! Off to the Holy left. shit! Nobody could top Mike on anything he does. Oh, wait, 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 hold oh, on. Okay. okay. <laughs> and I walk in, and I'll never forget it. Another comic was with me, uh, Regina DeChico. She was behind me. She had planned the whole thing, and uh, I see him down on one knee, and he's like starts talking as soon as I walk in the room, <laughs> and he holds the box, and he goes, "You know, eh, will you marry me?" And I just go. So I'm not performing tonight. <laughs> oh. Was that a relief or were you? No, I because I and you hear Regina, she has a real raspy voice in the background. She's like, no, you're not performing, you're getting Holy engaged. Shit. But it's like that's the artist so mind. This that's whole the thing. artist mind. They planned the whole thing. The club, the Friars Club emailed me. They had like tech Holy rehearsals. Shit. All these like fake things. They planned Regina really. So picked. they got you. He got me. And then obviously I said, you know, I said yes. And uh, wow! And he had a surprise party for me plans after that as well. Did you know at Disney World in Florida you have to pay them to propose in front of the Magic Castle? Oh, wow. really? How because much? I I I I heard this could be wrong. I I heard it was like ten. Ten thousand dollars? No, my cousin I got engaged. Be, okay, then then uh, I'm definitely wrong. But I heard yeah. you have to like ask for permission. And that if you, there's like compilation videos of uh, people proposing and security guards going like, nope, nope. Oh. Because then everyone would be doing it. Um, I don't know. My cousin's, wow. I don't know. My cousin's, right? my cousin's boyfriend did it. Am I completely wrong on and, this? Maybe. I don't know. But I'll tell you so, what. I would marriage anyway. didn't last. So, I'm I might be totally don't wrong on this. I heard this you from a friend. You just charged me $250 to walk in here. It's I'm, not a fairy I'm tale. Yeah, exactly. I've never been to Disney World. You remember the first really? time you got uh, when you got engaged? You I never got engaged. Oh, you didn't. Yeah. Okay. Guys. I got married at City Hall and went for papaya hot dogs on on 86th Street. <laughs> Guys, I don't that know. That was my reception. That sounds look like at a this, vibe. Look at this beautiful. <laughs> look at this specimen. This beautiful <laughs> specimen. You With sauerkraut even... mustard. You wow. can get her for one small ring. No party. Two papaya hot dogs. Two papaya <laughs> no, hot dogs. I don't dogs. eat meat anymore. Well, I don't know if you Two. know how I got engaged. But I do, but, but I want to hear it. Well, yeah, we want to hear it. I'll tell you. I'll be quick. My, my. See, and you know what my wife was pissed off about the most at the end. Wait, she got pissed tell, off. Tell us, wait, tell us the story first, and then tell, I'll us tell us why you the she story. got mad. I had this ring in the house for a month. I bought it, but I said I got to wait for the right time, and it was. I had it hidden where I knew she could never get it. So then I said to her one you night. You already living together? We were living together. Okay. And then I said to I said to I said, Did you ever see the Grand Canyon? And she said, No. I said, You never saw the Grand Canyon. Now, for those of you out there who never saw the Grand Canyon, when you see it, it's almost like angels go off. I don't know if any of you I've guys never I seen never seen saw it. No, no. If you walk up to the Grand Canyon, it's like it like, takes your breath it away. Takes your breath away. It's like you have you seen it, John? Yeah. Yeah. So I said to her, you got to see the Grand Canyon. So she goes, what, why, what's the big thing? I said, oh, you got to see it. I said, let's go see it. Aww. She said, what? I said, I don't know. You know, we were young, we were in love. I said, come on, let's go see it. She goes, when? Now? I go, yeah. I go, come on, let's, we'll get a plane, we'll take a limo to there. I hook up, but meanwhile, I was all hooked up. I get a limo. <laughs> I was all hooked up. I call up. a limo, limo takes me to the airport, LAX. How we, fast after when you said, let's go? A couple of days after? No, no, right that, there. Right then and there. Right there. Wow. Right there. So I, I know it's heavy. I love that she said, yes, let's go spur she the goes, moment. She goes, let's go. You know, I, oh, I said, let's just go. That's great. I wasn't famous yet, but I had a lot of money because yeah. I sold the scripts and everything. Okay. So then uh, we get in the car. We go to the airport, LAX. We go to land in the, uh, there where the Grand Canyon is. An hour and a half. It's only an hour and a half flight. Quick. Oh, okay. Right, so we get up. 
and she's laughing. I, you know, and I'm holding. I said, "Oh, come on, this is going to be great." I rent. I got a car. I rented a car, and I drove up to the Grand Canyon. Well, look, the same day this is coming. Wow, the I same, can't. This is incredible. The same day, and we get there, and I we went. I I, I researched the best place to look at the Grand Canyon is Hopi Point. They call it Hopi Point. I take it to Hopi Point, and I don't know why, at that moment, everybody just walked away. It's her and I alone. Oh, alone. Wow. So I, she walks up to it, and she's very emotional, Jana, and she starts to, like, tear up. She goes, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this, right? And I, and I say, Jana, this has been here for millions and billions of years, this hole in the ground. I said, and that's how long I'm going to love you. And I take out Come the ring. Come on. I'm a writer. And I take out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I take out the ring, and she goes. Her first words were, it's huge. Aww. And I said, just be careful. We're at the end of the cliff. <laughs> so she puts it on, and she's crying, and, and I was emotional. And we then we just, you know, that was. Got it. on the plane, went home, jet setters. Then we went on the home as soon as we got home. All right, we got to get a hole. Oh, we got to. <laughs> Wait, why was she upset? Oh, after that, she was. In, but on our way home, she goes, "You know, I'm a little pissed off." I go, "Oh, now what?" <laughs> she goes, "How could you have the ring in the house for a month and not let me know?" I go, "Cause I wanted to wait for this." She goes. I could never do that. As soon as oh. I got it, I would have to give it. I said, well, that's not you. I said, I'm different. You keep a good secret. I keep a good secret. And that's that. Well, I got to say, uh, anybody else have anything? No, look, you know what? This has been a great episode. Look, you got to go to Chaz Palmentary Show uh, at gmail.com. Because we like to hear about this engagement thing. How do you feel about real diamonds? Uh, but I, I shouldn't say fake diamonds because they're not. It's not like a, 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 a that fake diamond. This is like a well, real. Well, comment di- on the website yeah. on our uh, YouTube on yeah. our thing. Give or comment comments. on YouTube. Or, yeah. Oh wait a minute! Before we go, Catherine, where are you going to be, Catherine? I'm Tara. I mean, I'm sorry, Tara. Tara where are you going to be? You- <laughs> wait, wait. That's your daughter-in-law. That's my daughter-in-law. Right? This is Tara. Right. So where are you, you know where you're going to be? So? Where am I going to be? Uh, look up tarajokes.com and you'll see me there. I'm in Freehold, New Jersey, August 18th. I'm in Syracuse, New York, which I'm really excited about at the Funny Bone, September 22nd. Oh, so August 18th is very close. That's, yeah. That's Freehold, right. New Jersey, the American Hotel. And right, I'll, I'll go to Tara Jokes. Tara Jokes. All my social media and my website is tarajokes.com. On uh, in- Instagram, right? On Instagram. Right, Tara so jokes. follow her and, of course, Narducci over here. I'll Nard- be doing the vetting process for the, the proposals for Catherine, so That's please right. contact me directly. Thank you. So, Catherine, uh, you have a film coming out soon, right? Oh, no, we don't know. With the strike, everything's being pushed Oh, that's back. right. That, the, the Let, move, the, with Robert De Niro. Yeah. Well, the date was supposed to be February 2nd, but I don't know now. And what yeah. is the name of the movie? Uh, Alto Nights. And Barry Levinson yeah. directed it, and yeah. you play Bob's wife. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! So and that's going to be are you incredible. The game or? Oh, not the feast, no. The feast. N- yeah, the feast. Oh, the feast. September sixteenth. Say it. September. I'm the grand marshal. She is the first <laughs> grand marshal, first female grand marshal, at uh, the uh, the feast. Saint Gennaro. Saint Gennaro feast. All you girls. You ladies out there, all you women, you better get your ass down there and support her. Oh, that's all right. Ladies. You better get down there all and the ra- because we want the ladies down there. She's the first female, first female grand marshal. And how many years have you that's been going just, to that feast? It's like a hundred years. I'm, I'm born and raised in Manhattan, in Harlem, so yeah. all the you know, all my life going wow. to that feast every year. And you can go to her Instagram, follow her, follow Tara. And uh, I got to tell you, go to my Instagram, go to chazpalmentary.net if you want to know where I'm appearing. I'm going to be, uh, like I said, in, uh, uh, just go to chazpalmentary.net and you'll see where I'm appearing starting September. And uh, God bless, and we'll see you next week. All right. God bless.